Baha'i faith is worldwide. It was inaugurated by two central figures, one called the Bab, which means the gate. Gates do two things. They close the previous era and they open us to a new era. So a new era in the understanding that is forthcoming from God was the coming of Baha'u'llah. His main name means the glory of God. His, his coming was foretold by all of the previous revelations. Uh, and the timing was even uh, clear, but only as we look back on it. The main principles of the Baha'i teachings are that there's only one mankind, there's only, well, there's only one God. There's only one mankind. We're all united. That all religions come from that same source. Religion has its, its purpose to draw us closer to, to each other and to give us keener insight into our own inner being. Uh, so the Baha'i, some of the other things that Baha'u'llah taught us, and he suffered for 40 years, exile, persecution, uh, 20,000 Baha'is were slaughtered only because they were Baha'is. And even as we sit here and talk at this moment, the Baha'is in prison for the sole purpose that they are Baha'is and they uphold these principles that, that God has fulfilled his plan, his promise that he will always give us a teacher to tell us who we are and what we should be about. Some of those principles are that there is only one God, one people. Uh, religion comes from that same source, that there's only one mankind, that uh, education, edu everyone is entitled to an education, uh, that men and women are co-equal, uh, that uh, wars must must cease uh, that uh, uh, there's a spiritual basis for economic justice and fairness some of the principles and the one that, that comes to mind with this uh, presentation is that people were deliberately uh, set apart and in its own way, people have developed cultural values and strengths. And now those strengths must, must be brought together. And that is why uh, uh, Hema Sweat was strongly influenced by the Baha'i Faith. He uh, became a member of the Baha'i Faith in the middle 1940s, which is before he uh, began to uh, the, the matter of uh, stepping forward to uh, be the the uh, the linchpin behind the uh, the movement that the NAACP wanted at that time, mm -hmm. so there was a, he had a strong uh, inner motivation and and source of uh, resolve that came from his understanding of the Baha'i faith as a, as a member of the Baha'i worldwide Baha'i community.